Hi! Due to the way YouTube works, I want to make a quick announcement before this video. If you like this video, please consider hitting the like button or leaving a small comment. It really helps. If you feel like helping even more, you can check my Patreon or Ko-fi accounts. All the links are in the description box. Thank you! Greetings! In today's video, I'll be taking a look at Derwent's Graphic Line Painter Pens. I was interested in these pens because I like the idea of using them over watercolors to add in opaque details quickly and efficiently. I felt like if they work well, they are a very travel-friendly solution to having opaque elements into a watercolor sketch. The pens are available open stock, in sets of 5 pens, or in a set of all 20 pens. I have a set of 5 and select colors from open stock. According to the packaging, these pens use fluid, opaque, permanent and water-based paint. They only come in 0.5 nib size, what they call a Japan nib, that is also meant to be robust and deliver a fluid paint line. They are part of Derwent's product range, Derwent being a British company, but these pens have been made in Taiwan. The packaging is really interesting. It seems it was made to be reusable and convenient. The material looks sturdy, while staying thin and lightweight. It features art by Karen Griffiths. Each pen is shrink-wrapped individually. To get the ink to flow to the nib of the pens, one has to pump them a few times. Once the nib is colored, the ink flows really well and makes a very nice uniform stroke. The pens are mostly transparent, or made with a plastic that represents the ink's color well. They are very easy to tell apart, and in addition to that they are all named and numbered. The names are a bit fancy and don't all make sense right away, but it's fairly easy to read. I did some swatches to see how the ink behaves on watercolor paper, over black ink and over watercolor paints. I was pleasantly surprised by the good opacity of the colors, especially over the watercolors. The pens didn't pick up any of the black ink or watercolor paint. I let my tests dry to see how the ink reacts to water once it's dry. I used a water brush to scrub at the lines and see that they are not completely waterproof. Some of the color was reactivated, but not that much, and the line stayed crisp. These inks are definitely more water resistant than waterproof, but they don't blur or fade with water. As a demo for these, I pre-painted a very simple landscape with grasses and sky using core watercolors. My intention is to use the pens to add in flowers and small details over the watercolor, hoping that the opacity of the ink and the pen nib will make it much more efficient for me to add in the details. The pens worked wonderfully for that purpose and I was able to add in fine details with no issues. The nib is not scratchy at all, and it still allows for slightly tapered lines, depending on the pressure and angle of the pen. I enjoyed using these a lot. They are an excellent addition to a watercolor travel set. The colors are bright and intense, easy to use, and they flow well. The range is a bit limited, 
with only 20 colors, including iridescent silver. I'd be thrilled if they introduced more colors, especially more tints, or color mixed with white, as that's particularly useful over watercolor for small details. Either way, I'll be on the lookout for these when doing future art supplies purchases. As a last note, it's best to store these pens horizontally, so be careful of that if you want to add these to your collection. What do you think of using opaque pens to come back and add details to a painting? Let me know in the comments below. Take care, bye bye. Thank you.